the mic on? You guys can hear me all right? The slides of... Hi, my name is Jason Quick. I'm a professional juggler. I am a, a circus arts teacher and an inspirational speaker. So what I want to talk to you guys tonight about is... Did, really? It's still going high. Okay. <sighs> but I'm so nervous. I normally don't do things like this in front of slides that constrain me like this. Um, I'm a juggler and it looks like this. <clears throat> I'm also a one-armed guy. So there will be no other hands. Can you guys see the juggling balls okay? Yeah? All right. Yeah? Oh. Okay. So I'm going to make things a little bit faster and more difficult as we go along there. Whoa. Hmm. I don't think that's good enough for you people. I want to give you guys a talk that's going to encourage all of you to develop your geeky uniqueness and infuse it with a sense of purpose and passion and do amazing things for your community. I want you guys to share what you guys can do, oh, what you guys can develop with everybody around you, because we need you. Oh, it's hard to look down at slides. Um, this is my 30th year of juggling. This mic is awful. Um, 30th year of juggling. So on my birthday, I turned 40. I've been juggling since I was 10. Got it. But why do I juggle? I lost my arm when I was six years old. Um, no, 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 not with a sword. Um, I, I was dared to climb into an electrical substation. Um, and was that a tragedy or an opportunity? It's a double-edged sword. What I'm going to do is... Uh, Take the same old lemonade metaphor that's been given to me every time somebody sees me do something interesting. And uh, I'm going to put it in the air for you. Whoa. You got to make lemonade when life gives you lemons. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I couldn't see that at all. Uh, and that's where you find the sweetness of life. Making that lemonade... But Never, anybody, did they tell you how to make lemonade? It's a metaphor. How, how do you make lemonade out of amputation? Um, I don't know. Okay. All right, we are halfway there, and I want to start upping the ante a little bit. So I'm going to take um, my bowling balls and get these out here because we, there's not a lot of time. And, uh, okay, just a second. Um, and there's a lot of impossible things to get done, so it's going to take all of us working together to get all those things done. The mic is awful, but are you guys facing the fears that are holding you back from doing the amazing work that you need to do for your community? Are you guys facing those fears? Um, because that's where the sweetness lies. Uh, um, all right. I did mention this was going to be a comedy show, didn't I? Did I yeah, that was in my blurb, wasn't it? Okay. So I'm always looking for the next challenge. The next thing that's going to take me to that level that's going to help me inspire my audiences. I think it's still warm. Yeah, no, really. I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay. Oh. I just flooded it. This happened to me before. Just once, though. It, really, it doesn't happen very often. I think I'm almost out of my time. Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, no, I got plenty. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, you know what? Things happen sometimes, and you're not always able to do things just the way you wanted, but you got to get up and you got to do it anyway. So I'm going to juggle this chainsaw for you with this egg, and then I'm going to get off the stage. Whoa! Ah. Woo. So anything that happens in your life, is something you can take advantage of and make an opportunity of to give back to everybody else. If we all do that for each other and we all inspire each other, this world can be a better place. We can, you know, s survive the things that are coming our way. You know, they're all in the newspapers around us. So, 
thank you guys very much for being a great audience. I hope I did my thing well enough, and I'm off. <laughs>